Hello, I'm Wendy Oliver and I am the Year Level Coordinator at CCC for Years 7, 8 and 9 and I also teach Year 7 English and Spanish and Year 8 Spanish this year. And my name is Vicky Benz, I'm a Curriculum Leader and I'm teaching this year um, Year 7 Maths, Year 7 Science and I'm a PC teacher. We understand that uh, coming into secondary school can be a bit daunting for people and there's new routines to learn, um, new teachers, new um, buildings and uh, even new subject areas for students. So we have programs and procedures in place to make that as easy as possible, um, including minimising the, the number of teachers that you'll see face to face each day. Teachers uh, in Year 7 are very much aware that uh, our students are in a developmental stage where there are rapid changes. In fact, between 10 and uh, 15 years of age, they're experiencing more changes in that cycle of their life than any other stage of development. The changes are physical, emotional, social, as well as intellectual. So we'll have kids that come into Year 7 and they might be a little bit forgetful, they might uh, be disorganised and that's all part and parcel of this growing process. We know that that's what the students are and we are devising programs and learning activities that accommodate these changes. We also recognise that not all students are developing at the same rate. Uh, assisting with PC classes is also part of my role and that, that's pastoral care classes. So uh, Mrs. Benz is one of our pastoral care teachers. Uh, those lessons are, have a different focus each day. So you'll do a, a biblical studies lesson, uh, a skills lesson, which in year seven might be helping students look at things like um, writing bibliographies, mm -hmm. working out their devices and file structures and all of those technological things. Um, and also we have a wellbeing focus where um, we might talk about um, a, a study space, what it means to have a good study space and to get enough sleep to uh, come to school um, ready for the day. Or um... we, we can also take a look at the students and the needs of the students. So if the students are going through social issues at that time, we'll talk about what, what is happening in their um, developmental stage that is impacting on the way they speak to one another, the way they act uh, mm. towards one another and it's all towards building that self-awareness so that they can ultimately be, uh, have empathy towards other students and build better relationships between themselves. Yeah, yeah. So some of our topics might be um, resilience um, and also managing anxiety. Um, yeah, topics like that to help with well-being. And in the skill building we do problem solving, we do um, um, team building, all of those sorts of things where they're doing practical activities that help them work together and develop those 21st century skills that are so important now. Mm. It's really important that we establish a, a good classroom culture where students are encouraged to have a go at things. Often students come to, uh, into secondary and they're fearful of saying things in case they, if they get it wrong. So what we try and do is, is um, encourage students to um, uh, accept that not everybody is as quick with their answers as others and that we need to give everybody a fair chance to express their opinion, even if it might, if it, if it might be wrong. And uh, that helps build a, a positive classroom culture um, that trans transfers out into the playground as well. Mm, absolutely, and students, um, we help them to understand that there's key people that they can talk to if they are having any issues. Um, PC teachers, really important. Um, and then myself as year level coordinator as well. And having um, the minimum number of teachers mm. that that students are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis means that you're spending more time with each teacher. And the relationship is really important because it's through that relationship and that trust that students want to um, want to be engaged in the learning. Mm. If, if there isn't that trust and there isn't that 
willingness to want to learn from the person that we're up against it, aren't we? Yeah. So um, again, it's really important where there aren't so many contact teachers that as soon as something is happening that's out of the norm for a particular student, we all we can become aware of it very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's what we see here is that we've got teachers who are invested mm -hmm. in the, the, the lives of the students, not just academically, but in their well-being as well. And that makes for a much rounder mm -hmm. education because we, we're very much aware that we're educating them um, academically, spiritually. It's a holistic approach to their mm. emotionally, socially, all of those things. Absolutely. And good relationships with teachers mean that kids want to do their best as well mm. and, and, and they're not afraid to bring up any issues that are going on so that we can deal with them quickly and, um, and mm. sort that out if there are.